Well, Ryan Field, obviously, uh, battle of Vice President Select Cider. What a cracking game. Yeah, it was a top performance from the lads there. We've only, uh, seen as we've only had one training session together, thought we gelled really well there. Some top performances from a few lads that have just made the debut as well. So we did well as a team there. The game itself, that first half, I mean, that opening try, you were under a bit of pressure with penalties and you got one and it was a superb try down this corner by this wing by Lee Rentu. Yeah, it did uh, just support play, really pushing through. We had a bit of pressure on our own line for a good few minutes there, I think. And then we did well to get out of our own half, so good push, good support play and that's what we're doing as a team together, yeah. And then the second try, I think it'd be your first one, like, you know, great support, support play, and it was a great break, considering that oh, kick with John Paul Brocklebank. Yeah. Looked a cracking kick, but the, the winger made a superb one, didn't he? Yeah, he's a cracking player there. That was uh, Mike Johnson, I think. He's shown great speed to get round a few of them there, straight round the outside, and then, lucky enough, I just backed him up myself with some support. And then you go in 18, 12 and a little bit half time, and perhaps then two tries in the opening five minutes, five minute period. That put you 22 and up and in control? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah, pretty much. I think we uh, just run away with a little bit. The, I think defence was pretty good, but like, tired of the last little bit there and they come back with a few tries, but I think we'd uh, already run away with it, them few tries. But credit where credit's due, the Cumbria side, they, they never give up. I, th I thought personally the number 12 had an outstanding game for them. Yeah, of course, there's a few good plays for them. They didn't give up at all, not all games, so they kept battling through. It was a good, good game, good performance from both teams, I'd say. And what it does do, it gives the, the coaching staff um, a lot of problems to decide in relation to the test matches, that are, the internationals that are coming up, the county yeah. championship and the Tour of Dubai. Yeah, of course, that's it. It's opportunities for both lads and both teams. So they just both all tried the best today. That's all you can do and see what the coaches select their teams from now. Once again, congratulations and all the best for the season, Ryan. Yeah, thank you very much. You. Cheers. Hey, Guida, uh, your thoughts on that performance by the Vice President Select? Yeah, I thought it were a good performance. Um, I thought Cumbria were very good, say the county side. Um, they more than matched us uh, in the game. The first half especially, we struggled to get a bit of a roll on for defence. They were up for it. Um, and then in the second half, we had a bit more field position and uh, we completed a lot more sets. So, yeah, it were a good, res good result for us, really. Like I say, it was tight in that first half, but perhaps those uh, two tries in a five-minute period at the beginning of the second half, as it were, the foundations of the win. Yeah, like I say, um, it, it come from finishing the sets down in their half. We, we didn't have a great lot of field position in the first half. When we start completing the sets, we could start attacking them in their half and uh, it paid off. And without telling the rest of the world what is John uh, Fieldhouse's game plan, uh, I think as much as anything, it's you doing these 30-20s. Do you not like doing 40-20s? Because you had a 30-10, which just didn't get a try, and then the 30-20 that did. Yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> I just if, if, it's, if it's on, I'll go for it, you know what I mean? So, um, and it were today, so luckily it's paid off for us. Well, first of all, it augurs well for the international season this year with Barla, but I suppose from your own personal point of view, the season starts for you next week and uh, everything's uh, going as, as you'd want it. Yeah, yeah, up, up at Siddle, we've got a few new signings um, from other clubs. Uh, there's lo lots of lads turning up training. Um, feelings good in club and uh, hopefully we'll start as, as well as we finished last year. I suppose as much as anything, the, the game itself, I know the result matters at some stage, but it was about the occasion itself, the Gaddy Purden Memorial Trust, and hopefully it's the first of, uh, of uh, many games throughout the years to come. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, the rugby league community as a whole, um, they, they come out in force for anything like this. So, um, I mean, t today we're a typical example of it. And uh, like you say, I, I hope uh, we play next year again. <laughs> well, John Fieldhouse, the uh, Barla Vice President Select, uh, your thoughts on that performance? on both sides initially. Well, yeah, excellent. Uh, great game, great conditions. Um, sadly, obviously, uh, for the, 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 you know, the Purdom family, the, it's, this uh, has had to be brought together under this circumstances, but uh, you know, we're only willing to uh, help the, the family and wherever we can. Uh, it is the Rugby League family and also the Valley who are a partaker to that, so you know, it's, uh, it, it is great to be involved. Um, but um, you know, it could have been nicer circumstances, but as I say again, what a great game. You know, the, the, all, all the players took part were, you know, 100%. Uh, there was no hanging about. When they talk about friendlies in rugby, that just shows you there's no friendlies in rugby. Everybody wants to be uh, bish and bash. Everybody wants to get involved. And uh, both uh, teams showed uh, complete skills right across the board when they kick in, uh, the tackling defensively, uh, the passing skills and the support play and the tries that were scored in the game. Outstanding. I mean, it was uh, 12 and a half time and perhaps those two tries, quick fire trial in the second half, 
all right, would never seal the victory, but it put you in good stead, didn't it, the uh, president's side? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just something that we spoke about at half-time. Uh, there were areas that we needed to attack uh, Cumbria in, and, uh, you know, without me uh, having to, like, uh, you know, obviously tell them to do it straight away as such. I just said, uh, these are areas we've got to work in. We need to get them on the fringes and then utilise the ball into the areas where we've got the pace and they've not. Uh, and uh, they did it instantly, straight from the kick-off, and uh, that was fantastic from my point of view because uh, it showed that they were listening, first and foremost, at half-time, but they responded and, uh, and did everything that I've asked of them. You know, I was disappointed that we let two tries in, um, but... Uh, then again, you know, the lads have not played much rugby defensively as well. Uh, it was a great effort, so two tries, I'll go with that, but 46 points for, uh, for ourselves. And um, obviously, a splendid team performance, uh, Lee Gudier, I mean, he, he doesn't do 40-20s anymore, he does 30-20s and 30-10s. Yeah, well, that's the, that's the uh, you know, that's the brilliance of uh, Lee Gudier, you know. Um, he, he brings all the skills, the array of skills he's got. You know, he's got the angling skills, he's got uh, the attacking running skills, and he's got the kicking game. And uh, any team that uh, can put a player in your team that uh, can do that type of uh, kicking, uh, you know, is, uh, is, is wanted. And uh, certainly at Bala, we do want him and we need him. I know, it, obviously, as much as anything, this is a selection for the perhaps. Well, it's for the international season this season, and going to Dubai and there's some cracking players on show from both sides. I thought. Personally, from the Cumbria side, I thought Brett Phillips uh, he never took a backward step in the second row, did he? No, there was lots of good positives from uh, the Cumbria point of view, and, all, and and we'll review those, you know, on the videos myself. I mean, obviously in the game, I get tied up with watching my team, so I'm not watching, you know, them other than somebody making an impressive break or a, a good tackle. Uh, so I don't get to a clear view on the opposition. I'm looking at my team, what I need to do, and what I need my team to do, and where we need to uh, improve in the areas. So you know, I get a bit blinkered on that side of it but that's my job to look after my team uh, I will review the the video and I did see Brett Phillips making some impressive runs and some impressive tackles so you know if he stands out just as much as I thought he did in the game um, as it was happening then uh, he certainly will be part of Barlow in the next uh, not too distant future. So you've got some great headaches to have uh, John? Yeah, I love headaches. I don't mind them at all because it, the worst part is uh, you, the headache, the hardest headaches is when you're looking for players. We're not looking for players at Bala. We're, we've got a selection policy now where we've got under 19s, under 21s, under 23s in an open age, and all teams are winning and all teams are, have got quality players in them. So the uh, the policy that I put into place uh, probably three or four years when I got involved and said that we need a stepping stone from, from stepping out of uh, under 18s to where we are now. It's fantastic and I'm more than more than pleased with uh, what's happening in Barla. Well, Peter Smith, the uh, Cumbria Barla County coach, your thoughts on that uh, performance by your boys? I thought um, we, we gave a lot of commitment, a lot of effort there. I mean, considering uh, the lack of prep preparation that we had for the game, which which resulted in it was an hour and a quarter on a Wednesday. I mean, um, looking at that, I think we've, we we can only go up, and there's a there's a lot to build on from there. And the boys themselves, even when they were, they were trailing the game, and they got two two well taken got two well taken tries. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're trying to put a few structures in place here where. Where we're playing like um, rook stuff and um, support, and uh, they they were the, off the back of uh, two two go forward uh, players that we had. Are you six and seven? I mean, obviously, the the, the perverts for the for the good moves, and they certainly worked work well together, didn't they? I mean, uh, I think uh, your number seven Grantee went close, and then Paul Brocklebank followed up for that first try. Yeah, I mean, uh, it takes a bit of uh, understanding to get to know when you're playing with a with a new half back pairing such as uh, Grant and, and John Paul. Um, you know, they, they can only, as I said before, they go go onwards and upwards, and uh, I think you know we've got a lot to work with there. And uh, I thought your number twelve, Brett Phillips, I thought was outstanding uh, throughout the whole eighty. Well. Brett reminds me of a guy who uh, used to be down at Whitehaven called Phil Show in, in, in sort of looks as in stature and in work rate. I mean, I think Brett's got a got a very healthy future in the game and uh, he does. I mean, I fetch him off there towards the, the back end. I mean, uh, the game, but I was thinking oh, he made a bit, a bit of rest time, but uh, he, he plays like that all the time. And I've, uh, I've I know he's still been focused on players at Twitch, so I don't, uh, the
peasant select here, you know, there's some good players there, weren't there, and some good moves played. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, it, it helps having having a few more sessions together than what than what we had. But uh, obviously, the, you know, John's put a, a good set of structures in place there. I mean, I, I like the look of the fullback. Um, he, he's very sharp. The left winger w w was very quick as well. Um, and the little Luca, he, he done well. But uh, I mean, they've got a bit more size and a bit more about them. But uh, you know. Saying that, I mean, all we need to do is uh, get a few more sessions under our belt and uh, we can take it from there. I suppose taking it from here and taking it further, obviously, it, it augurs well just having that short time preparation for the county championships to, to begin next month. Yeah, I mean, if we can, uh, as I said, get the sessions together and see what we can do, I mean, it's going to be better than just the hour and a quarter that we've had for, for day's game. I mean, obviously, there was a lot of effort and commitment, that's what I've said before, but uh, up until then, I mean, we can get some sessions together. I says, you know, we can see what we can do, we can, we can push on a bit further. I think you've said that it's competitive, but at the end of the day, I, the, the result didn't really matter. It's what the occasion was all about, wasn't it? Definitely. And it's tragic circumstances, well, but we've all got together as a family. Well, definitely, I mean, obviously, absolutely tragic. I mean, I, I coached Gary down at Whitehaven, and... I don't think it should take something like this uh, to get like a, a, a Bali team to come up the same with the professionals when it does happen. I think there should be uh, should be more of it because we, we are considered an outpost. But there again, there should be more of this coming about. I mean, it looks as if it may be the start of a, a yearly game, and like I, say, I understand what you're saying, but uh, if that does happen, it's, it bodes well first of all for rugby league in Cumbria and. The, the, the amateur set up as a whole? Well, I mean, the, I think the amateur set up is, is getting a bit stronger with, with the professionals getting a bit um, going downhill um, as it is at White Haven being relegated and, and Workington's being in Division 1. But, you know, I think the amateur amateur game is going, going quite stronger now. But, I mean, obviously, I know what you're saying. Uh, if we can just pick it up on the amateur scene, we can see what we can do. Right, thanks for tapping. Well, I'm speaking to uh, Tony Burns, the Cumbria skipper, uh, out there today. Your thoughts on that game, Tony? Oh, I thought Barlow were very smart today. Quick up the middle, spread it wide, to knock it off. All right. Do we start on? Five, four, three, two, one, take two. Well, I'm speaking to Tony Burns, the skipper of uh, the Cumbria side. Your thoughts on that performance this afternoon? Uh, I thought but Barlow were very smart today. We struggled to get the ball off them for the first 15 minutes and tend to set the tone for the full game after that. Struggled to get possession off them. They were very quick. But uh, perhaps, you know, you battled well in that first half, you're talking about lack of possession, but uh, perhaps those two tries in the second half, those early tries, as it were, put you on even bigger back foot. Yeah, we, we come out, we needed to score first, really, to get back in the game, and they took a bit, wounded us a little bit, to be honest, got our heads down, but we've only been together one session, we got through together on a Wednesday, so can't can't fault the commitment from the boys, so happy with it. And it augurs well, you know, you said your heads were a little bit down, but you got a couple of tries and uh, some inventive ploys leading up to it. Yeah, lads battle well. We built a bit of pressure. Just the final ball cut us a few times, but the tri one of the tries we scored was very good. Happy with it. And from your own point of view, from the team's point of view, it's all as well with the county championships coming up in the next couple of months for uh, Cumbria. Yeah, well, well that's, what, that's what it's all about, just building up to that. This was a one-off game for a good charity, so it's all building up to the county championship. So hopefully we can push Yorkshire and Lancashire, hopefully come away with the championship. And you've, you've touched on, on the charity itself. I mean, all right, you know, the, the run-out's great, the result's not great, but it, but it was all about the Gary Purden Memorial Trust and that's what this game was all about, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a decent turnout. Hopefully we can raise a bit of money through the auction so get it for the funds for the family. So, And finally, it'll be great for the future. I mean, they talk about it having it you know, running year in, year out and uh, it'll be great as a pre-season for all players from uh, Cumbria, Lancashire and Yorkshire. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to get it as a tradition, bit of a get everyone up here every year, be be good good for the game.